I was starting to run out of money. And uh, Danny Jacobson from Mad About You called my agent, like at the last minute, I think, because I got a call in the morning from my agent saying, um, there's a uh, Mad About You, you don't have to audition, but it's a guest star on Mad About You. I mean, they'll give you guest star credit. I don't think you should do it. You'd have to be there like in an hour. And it, the character doesn't even have a name, and it's just a couple of lines. And I was running out of money, and I thought, well, Mad About You is a great show, and who am I to say no? I don't say no. And I said, no, 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 I'll do it. Well, look, it, it's just called Waitress. It doesn't even have any lines. And I said, no, no, I'm going to go. I'll go do it. Well, they won't even let you see what it, what it is till you get there. That's fine, because <laughs> I'm a trained improviser, and I can think on my feet, and that's fine. I can make choices fast. It's okay. And I just remember driving down there going, all right, so really just listen and respond and make it funny. Just listen and respond and then make it funny. And it <clears throat> doesn't matter what it is. doesn't matter what it is. And I got there and I saw it and I was like, oh, easy to make it funny. Okay. So I played this idiot waitress, you know, who just made, you know, even her nose were really sweet as if she was delivering, like, you know, good news and I'm in full agreement, we don't have that, you know, whatever that was. And by the end of the week, Danny Jacobson said, this is really, you're really funny and would you be okay if we wrote you into five more episodes? I was like, oh my God, I don't have to get a day job. I thought I would have to find some job somewhere in an office because I stopped working for my father. I was sort of, you know, supporting myself as an actress. But so, yay, that was everything.